Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazurak. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, MacArthur Lover. But as you can see on screen right now, I asked you guys yesterday what we should call our secret intelligence agency, and some of you guys recommended we should call it the MacArthur's Secret Service, the MSS. Not bad, not bad. But right now, as you can see on screen, we're taking out Managua, or uh, really the Central uh, American Confederation. I got ahead and just pretty much straight up annex Mexico and Haiti and the Dominican Republic, so they'll not bother us anytime soon or ever again. And we just did malice and charity. With the words of President Lincoln reminding us to buy the nation's wounds, Congress has created a system to reintegrate the rebel states on a massive scale. Through a nonpartisan committee called Malice and Charity, dick districts can be re-added to the Union. The question of what to do with those that fought against the government has to be decided. Show off for clemency to those that fought against the government and try to re and re rehabilitate them back into society, or shall they be punished for their actions against America? Malice? Charity? Honestly, we're going to lose a lot more stability than political power, so we're going to go with charity, just because this is the more democratic way. Some might say, some might say. Fate of the unions, um, I would like to get rid of reconstruction, but we've already done peace at last as well. Uh, take the fight abroad. Finally, well, the top brass is satisfied with the progress we put into the army. Now, we just need to target to put rubber to the road. Nice. Very good. We got plenty of political power. We can do uh, plenty of stuff there, too. We could, but let's see. Who are we just fighting on next? Oh, we're going to war with the Colombians. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do against the Colombians. Good old mighty Colombians. Now, as we finish off a lot of the Central Americans here, which did take a lot more than I thought it would need to take them out, but that's all right. You know, things happen. Uh, low manpower. Nice. Other divisions, good. Plenty of divisions. Uh, would you all like to come into here right now and see what you can do about killing them all off? I think you would. I think you would like it a lot. Cool. But yeah, doing all right. Hope you guys are doing okay. So we've got some other comments to go through, such as playing Kai's the Redux, play as a Western Command Center. I probably will eventually. Not sure when, but I, I, as a YouTuber, I'll probably have to do that some at some point. So I think that'd be a good campaign to do sometime. Also, we're just going to go to war with these guys just to get rid of these guys. I don't want them to exist, like a lot of other things or people. But that's all right. Uh, Colombia shouldn't be too bad. We'll invade from here. We're going to go straight for Caracas if we can. I might be saying that wrong, but. I don't pronounce things, everything perfectly. Uh, go to that little... Is that Dutch? Yeah, that is Dutch. That is Dutch. That's what I thought. All right. There you go. Cool. And we'll go over there. Something like that. One, two. Invade from here to there. And then one, two. And we'll go from Santo Domingo once again to invade right there. Sure, why not? Looking pretty good. Uh, we'll take you all, and we'll actually station you guys here so we go straight into those guys. Hopefully we do okay. Let's build up Panama just a wee bit more. And get some more of that there. We'll get plus one fuel there eventually. Build up in Panama if possible. I think that'd be great. But the fate of Panama? After a rapid campaign around the Panama Canal, we finally managed to shatter the Panamanian advances. Panama City is now in our hands. We must now decide on the future of Panama. Military occupation. The fate of Central America. We must decide what to do with the people of Central America. Liberate them? Let each shooting to be independent? Nope. That's why we're going to need the extra stability and war support. Ground support integration is very, very good. Let's grab some battlefield support. Thank you very much. Take the fight abroad and then rebuild in agriculture. Yeah, we must well build a rebuild agriculture industry. In order to transport and process the food to feed our nation, we must encourage innovative preservation and agronomy sciences. Congress has set up a fund to investigate this, and several politicians have contributed to it directly. Nice, we're still building that up, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're building ourselves up even more, 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 more. We're just going to need a massive navy, really. Especially to fight the, uh... You know, not Kurds, but like... The Entente, really. The Entente, Entente, Entente. Nice, get your boys there. We'll have be there soon enough. I'll... Oh, 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 the false has been... Oh. Hello. Well, there's a lot of Dona Ejibu, and there's a lot... There's a lot of Reichsback. Russian Republic. The Zili clique. The Entente's not looking so great. But that's alright with us. Protect your democracy. Which one are we going to do next? I forgot. Ah, oh, agriculture industry, right? That's right. Cool. Suicide pills are yummy. Release of the Joint Army Navy Phonetic Alphabet. If you want to read about that one, please go ahead. I've read this one before, so. This will give us an edge in communications. At least hopefully. And the military research? Yeah, why not? Our national security is threatened by the asymmetrical advancement of technology. We cannot be blindsided by an enemy with some previously unknown weapons of war. We must increase the military research and development funding drastically. Yes, please. Extraction? Sure, why not? We got a little bit, slightly too much rubber, which is never true, but whatever. Because we're going to need a lot, a lot of chromium for our big ol' thick navy. 
Because if we, if, if we like anything here, it's a big old thick navy. Oh, baby, yeah. Anything else here? No? Cool, fine with us. Cool. And we should be able to go to war soon. 14 divisions is pretty good. They do have quite a few themselves. We might try to tempt them into just ramming themselves into a, our line. So we could try that, maybe? Just to see if that would you know, provide any benefits for us. But since we're here anyways, uh, do we have any casts? Cool. And I'll send you over down there. Events artillery upgrades. Go and grab some more anti-air. Do we have any fighters now? Got some strategic bombers. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, that is so nice. Cool. Alright, so let's do some stuff here. Desegregate the army. Or the military. Sure, we'll see what we can do. That's, that's the one that costs the most. So we might as well do that one. We'll start some of these. Support Business Act. Oh, that looks pretty good. Why not? Suicide pills, yum yum. Antipartisan. Oh, since we're here anyways. And we're waiting forward to that. And then we'll, after this war, we'll go straight for the Entente. Like, I want to give her time, give enough, enough time to just destroy the Entente. And Canada specifically, but, you know, whatever. Because right now, we are not... The anti Pact would be nice to get rid of, but still. Alright, so... Canada, huh? Trial of the Unionist Generals. Well, the Civil War now over, and our enemies at the, our mercy. The armies finally begin the trials against the Union Generals, or Unionist Generals. While some generals have fled into exile, the generals who were caught are now waiting for the verdict of the military tribunal. However, despite what the public believes, it's not as easy to carry out the trials as it was originally anticipated. Most trial generals don't care of any particular record of unnecessary violence, even those that do still claim they are following orders. During the trials, and uh, to the surprise of high command, General Eisenhower has spoken in favor of absolution for his past colleagues citing the strange circumstances of their defection and their ultimate loyalty towards the American people as evidence of innocence. Despite his defense, the judges believe that he may be biased in the case he has, he, as he was known to be friends with Patton and subordinates before the Civil War. As no denying that in America's darkest hour, they and many others who followed them ended up on the wrong side of history out of their own volition. While some of the captured generals have sworn to quit even, even if forgiven, there are other men who have pledged to defend America we saved if they are forgiven. But the final decision rests with the jury. Discharge them. Exile is the only thing the traitors deserve. Uh, we'll do what Lincoln did. Uh, let's just discharge them, right? Oh, we could exile them. That actually gives us a lot more political power and social liberalism, but we'll just, just start discharge them for now. Yeah, because we're at 49%, which is not too bad, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, restoring America, nothing here. No acts we can really do. Anti-lynching law. Stability is always very good. Minimum wage law act? Sure, why not? What about agricultural stuff? Arenos? Military research? And since we're here, the GI Bill. Young men have a variety of motivation for going to war. The GI Bill hopefully encompasses those motivators that patriotism cannot reach. So basically the same thing as the Pacific Generals. Uh, discharge them. We can get more political power of exile them now, but we'll just discharge them. We could spare them, which wouldn't be bad, but meh. Discharge them. Uh, which means we can do minimum wage law. Yes, please. 87% is not too bad. And uh, now we get plus 0.54 political power, which is almost 1.65. So now we should probably end up trying to go to war. Yay! Lots of subs. Very good. Battleships. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Oh, mechanized. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, nice job, guys. See, this is what I want to see. This is what I want to see them struggle against us with. Defense Way has been called in. Lucian Stress Cuts. Alright, alright. Uh, get some more land at attack. Our ships should do pretty darn okay. I'm not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give our guys a lot of naval XP here. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of naval XP. Are they done attacking us? That sucks. Here, take one of y'all. And go there. You guys? Oh, more Marines, yes. Absolutely. Omar Bradley, Scavenger, Fortress Buster. Eh. Escort Cures are pretty good, too. Grab some of that, too. Ah, there we go. Yes. How many have we killed? Only 25,000? That's not enough. For here. War propaganda? Yeah, let's get some war propaganda. That's free war propaganda. That's some good stuff. Hopefully we can invade at least somewhere here successfully. No guarantees, but... Or we'll invade everywhere successfully. Alright then. A lot more successful than I thought it would be. Way more successful. Let these guys deploy first. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. 
Uh, there you go. Well, I guess go right on in. There could be some hills and mountains here, but still. Construction of the Pentagon. With the shortcomings of the main Navy munitions building, the search for more fitting, permanent fitting office space for the War Department has been ongoing for months already. The first military turned to the head of uh, the Army's Construction Division, Brigadier General Brehan Burke Somerville. He, in turn, asked the Chief of the Staff, or the Chief of the Design Section, Lieutenant Colonel Hugh J. Casey, to come up with a building that would fit a five side parallel parts of land that had been hastily purchased just below the Arlington National Cemetery on the Virginia side of the Potomac River, which would house all the War Department's components. Originally, the building was meant to be placed in a location known as Arlington Farms, where the road shape resembles a Pentagon, which has forced the architect team to adapt the design to set geographic space. Many of the department, however, are questioning a position in the building between the cemetery, which by all means is considered hollowed ground for every American, and a stunning view of Washington, D.C. is really appropriate, and two new locations have been proposed for the construction, unfortunately. The quest for the mere tiers have already been designed to accommodate a pentagonal shape, so even if we were to change the building location, the building will still be made in that shape, but we still need to decide where the pentagon should be. Now uses whoever feels like. Because we're going to farm, we'll do the farm. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. How strong is uh, Venezuela? They're not that. They're about to capitulate too. It's not bad. It's pretty good actually. Just head straight on through and kill them all off. Nice. Military research, nice. GI Bill, create the Women's Army Corps. Might as well. Oh, military research. We're having our best scientists and business leaders looking to watch. Should we should invest our efforts into guns, tanks, artillery, improving our own doctrines. We should choose guns. Ooh, armor. Despite protests from socially conservative elements in the U.S. Army, the Commander-in-Chief has stood firm in the defense of Women's Army Corps. Led by Secretary of the Department of Health, Ovet Tahabi, the WAC has received more than twice the request of number of volunteers. Women's Auxiliary will help maintain us and safeguard our weapons of war and keep our massive supply chains working. Not bad. Alright, so now that since they... Oh! Now that they're leaving, you guys go on in now. And Vance with the gone. These guys moving around a little bit more. Hopefully, do okay here. There you go. Give it a little bit of time. We'll be okay. We will most definitely be okay. Lanos, Janos. Oh, we actually linked up. Look at that. Yeah, we did for a little bit. I and mean, then again, the infantry is moving through here. See, it's Fourth of July. We're about that. Please go ahead. Nice. And just in case. Just in case. You never know. Gotta be ready for anything here. Nice. Go on. And the, with, the, uh, with the army here actually doing stuff, that's fine. Nice. Only a quarter million have died. Colombia is about halfway to capitulation, which is not good enough. Once we get Bogota, we'll be really quite good, actually. There you go. Kill these guys off. Oh, I thought we already took that top, but whatever. And here, convoy sunk. Any upgrades? Any extra ships? Nice stuff, man. You guys already have four carriers over here, so we have another carrier over here, too. That'll be quite good. Okay, Bogota. We got GIBL. Yes, please. Two days left. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Oh, but we won down here first. Nice. Awesome. Well, let's get ready. And anywhere we have the. Oh, the Ontario Entire down here, too. Well, I guess we're we'll going to keep the Marines down here then. All right, excavation, slightly more excavation. Not bad, not bad. U.S. do be looking pretty nice. Uh, Venezuela, 
After a campaign across Venezuela, we finally managed to shatter the Venezuelan defenses. Caracas is now in our hands, of course. We must now decide what we're going to do. Military occupation. As it should be. Failure Colombia. Oh, oh. Oh, would you look at that? Military occupation, too. Who would have saw that one coming? Rifle improvements. Well, the M1 Johnson managed to see us through the Civil War's flaws were just noticeable when it was adopted as they are now. However, with the criticism we've gathered during the Civil War, we have now contacted the original designer. And it's assured us that by redesigning the barrel gas cylinder and front side assembly, he will make the Garand an even more reliable and deadly weapon. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. The entire thing, man. The entire thing. One, two, three, four. See what these pesky Canadians can muster up against us. Any more fighters? Hopefully. There you go. Cool. 100. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. It is almost 45, but that's alright. That's quite alright with me. Keep making more more ships. Improve those things, improve those guys, improve those guys. Lots of improvements. Lots and lots and lots and lots of improvements. Please, please, please. I definitely get some more air bases here too. Michigan. Over here too. Naval Department's nice. Good, good, good. So we'll be going to war with them next. And I swear we're going to destroy the on top, man. We might even destroy the Reichspect. We'll see what happens though. Rifle improvements are very good. Now let's do something else now. Let's go ahead. Oh, America rules the waves. This will be very good for more fleet coordination, max, uh, naval max range factor, more naval XP2. Following our extensive investments in our naval research and construction, we've regained our place as one of the world's leading naval powers. Anchors away. It's a great tune. Pretty good tune. Oh, and we some new. Ah, uh, we're not American until we got some bombs going. Nothing like a few bombs to wake you up in the morning, especially when we're led by Mac Daddy. Can he become president like for the entire rest of the campaign? I'm like FDR was president, so we should, probably should be able to, right? Right. Women's resource four, nice. Very beneficial. Okay, so how strong are the Canadians? Naval production, two hundred thousand manpower on extensive conscription. Uh, stockpile we can't really tell. Ship wise, they are not bad. Almost no ki no carriers though, which is fine for them, I guess. Uh, since we're here, anyways. go just in case so all right we're going to build that one up too anyways very very soon hope the navy's ready to go as well nice three well maybe stop training oh i forgot about you guys too uh shibrook here get up there first Not really motorized division, but that's all right. Yeah, these guys are not really that great. Uh, I'm thinking about making these with support artillery, maybe. Because these guys have 51 more soft attack, while these guys have 20. It'd be 88 defense. That's so much more defense. Yeah, I'll probably just go straight 40s. Just so much defense. Now, defense means nothing on offense, but at the same time, bro. Just so much defense, holy crap. Get him on a port to Boston. Excavation, get some more excavation. Nice, even more Marines, we love the Marines here. Um, what are these tank divisions? What do we make these guys? Uh, make them mechanized is fine. Well, that is 44. Let me get some more mechanisms. That's fine. I would like some SP artillery. By the end, we're going to have plenty of army XP, though, so I'm not too worried about that. Anti air. Do we have any anti air? Yeah, we might as well do that for now. That's fine. Bang Chong government is gone. Good, good, good. What do we focus soon enough to? Don't worry about it.
Naval stuff. Cool, cool, cool. And economic investments. A more bold strategy was devised by Congress to assist in economic recovery. Traditional notions that government purchases are negatively associated with growth. Newer theories that hold that smart that, that smart purchases can stimulate the economy. But only they're smart. Oh. Good luck, guys. Oh, you're still fighting. You're always fighting. What's wrong with you all? War propaganda? Might as well. We're going to need that. All right, well, time to go in. We've waited long enough. To hell with you. To absolute hell and back with you. Are right, you guys on the line? Well, you're going to force the attack. Oh, no, not the French Republic. Oh, no. What are they doing? Right, train department. Cool. Don't care about this stuff. Goodbye. So who did to capitulate? Dominion. We gotta go to India. If I have to invade India, you know, so be it. Cool. Not bad. Sink all the convoys. Yeah, this is what they get. This, and another, a lot of you guys said we gotta get revenge for the, for the War of 1812. This is what we're doing right now. This is exactly what we're doing. To a T. Any upgrades? Upgrades? It's alright if they don't. I would like for them to have them in upgrades, but that's alright. Sinking. Oh, peace with Canada? We've occupied Ottawa and currently have the Canadians on the run. Perhaps the time's come to make peace unless we find ourselves dragged down in expansive territory. No, we're teaching them a lesson. Oh, look at that. We lost two destroyers, too, but we sunk a lot of the fleet there. Well, only screens, but still. Let's go cruiser now, task force. A couple more planes, looks like. Good, good, good. Yeah, you don't piss off America. At least you reunited America. Oh, look at that. Another task force is gone. The Canadian helps restore the motherland. You know, the UK are so horribly dashed at this point that they deserve to lose everything they have. Lost a couple stubby boys. That's all right. It happens. King Albert flees. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we got we got Brazil. How did we end up with Brazil? You know what? I'm not going to question. It. I'm probably going to just take everything. Just because I don't care I, at this point. Honestly, we could use a lot of footholds in Europe. Especially if we want to go to World of the Reich's back. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. But, let's see after we go back and do this peace deal. And here we have it, my friends. We don't have a lot of political power. And I basically had to use Khan's commands to go to World of the Reich's back. But we are at war with the German Empire. But, economic investments. A more boldly, bold strategy is devised by Congress to assist in economic recovery. Traditional notions that government purchases are negatively associated with growth. Newer theories that hold that smart purchases can stimulate the economy. Aviation industry. The U.S. used to lead the world in civilian aircraft manufacturing. Now, assembly lines in Germany have left, have left us apaced. Congress has spoken to intelligence agencies about what we can do to encourage businesses to adopt these techniques, including our contractors, and reconstruction is over. The years of ac poor economic management and civil strife have not left our minds, but the most darning effects are diminished. So right now, we're at war with these guys. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we do okay. Um, yeah, the Germans have already gone to war with the Austrians, so we'll see what happens. Oh, the German fleet's there. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hopefully, we do. Oh, boy. Well, sunk a lot of convoys. That's nice. Task force. Cool. Nice. Not bad. Quite good. Quite good. Nice. And we are, we are using quite a few subs. Like, we do have... Quite a few subs. And we're all over the literal world right now, so... Well, by world I mean Europe, so... Uh, honestly, at this point, I think I just want to hold, if possible, against these guys. That's my main goal. If we can't, then we'll see... Oh, boy. See what happens. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We throw a lot of planes here. We definitely want Morocco. We can't make it all the way over here, so be it. This might have been a really bad idea, but they're going to definitely attack us eventually. Like, let's be real. They want to attack us. And I want to see how much damage we're doing to the, all these guys as well, so. Actually, since you guys are here, we can probably just invade here. And it's going to hold the line, maybe. So. Something like that, maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, not bad, not bad. Losses include... What? 57,000. Alright, not bad. 
Oh, you guys are still trying to get over there. Oh, my bad. Whoopsie. Come on, guys. Please attack me. Oh, hello. Army is slowly to desegregate. After the president signed a lot of segregate the armed forces, it seems that it's taking more time than expected to fully desegregate. There's still only black only, white only regiments, and several officers are determined to keep things separate. It's about the slowness. Things are improving as more armed are desold desegregating. Still, progress is slow. Desegregation shall happen no matter what. Where are these guys going in? Nice. Yeah, we're losing quite a few planes here, but that's alright. I mean, I can't expect perfection here just yet. We sunk a lot of convoys here, though. That's pretty nice. Good luck getting all the way over there. Up, oh, see, now the attacks have begun. Not very much, but they've definitely begun. Yeah, this is going to be a bit crazy to do. Um, nice. Modern tanks are very good. Of course, we did run out of uh, stuff here. Nice. Oh, let's get more reliability. Let's get... Nice. Awesome. And protect democracy. The 17th Amendment enhanced democratic representation in America but failed in the long run to make the electoral process more democratic. Congress shall strengthen the democratic process directly through their new view of poll taxes and registries of felons to ensure the word of the law is followed. Nice. Lost the plane, which is totally fine. Some more con Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. Leslie, nice, nice, nice. I'm hoping that because they have such bad attrition, we can hold out no matter what. But there's no guarantee. And we're not going to have air superiority here anyways, but like... It's going to be really bad. Maybe it was a really bad idea. Probably a really bad idea. Huh. But hey, I wanted to try it out, so I'll see what happens. Um... Something like that, maybe. Go ahead and retreat. Retreat. And retreat that way. If you possibly can. Go. Leon, very nice. Oh, we got a Varan. Oh, we got a Varan. Oh, that sucks. Don't worry about it. Just, I want you to hold. I want you to hold the line. That's all I want. We need to be causing mass casualties to the enemies, not us. Reich's Pact, of course. Germany. We've killed off. Well, the... Uh, about... 230,000, that's not bad. Considering where we're at. Oh boy, you better be holding there, son. Oh, crap. Yeah, I think I'm going to redo this off screen just a little bit. Because this is not going to go super well for us right now. Uh, especially if we get all these guys encircled up there. That's pretty darn bad, not going to lie. That's pretty darn bad. Um, oh, we got to, Yeah, that's not going to be good. But I think I'm going to redo this off screen just a little bit to see what happens. Uh, wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad, though. Of course, it doesn't really matter if I'm going to restart this just slightly off screen. But hey, I think I'll end it there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will be fighting the Reichs Pack. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.